Yep, I'm back again. You're probably getting sick of me saying this, but this time I am in the high country. I'm on my own. Ben will be following me in about two or three hours, so it'll give me an opportunity to hike down slowly, hunt on the way. This time we're trying to go in lighter. It's for about four or five days, so I'm not going to bore you with all the details of um, me sweating and busting me pump trying to get down into the bush. But if something happens, I'll definitely switch back if I catch it on video. But I just thought I'd show you some of the stuff that I take with me. And in this case, it was a challenge to try and drop the weight so I can get down into these more remote, sort of harder to get to areas where we know, or we hope we know, the Samba will be held up. Well, it's crunch time. I've got to get all this into one of these packs. Well, I say one, and ideally I'd like to get it into my Camelback um, vest, the Delta 5, because I prefer to hunt in that. But it might be pushing it a little bit, and I've either got to decide to strap one of these bags to the outside, or go with my bigger pack and strap one of the smaller um, day packs onto that. Uh, the way it's looking, that may be the case. You'll soon know when you've actually, actually you'll know, because you'll see me walking in with whatever I've got strapped to my back. So anyway, I'll just run through what I'm going to take in for these four days. Now we are going to run a lot lighter than we normally would. I'm not even going to be taking in uh, any heating, as in gas burner, no jet boil, no nothing. We're going to rely purely just on a heated uh, meal or heated water at the end of the day when we get a fire going. So first of all, with food, the four uh, freeze-dried meals that you're looking at there are probably some of my favourites. Um, then I've basically got, for breakfast, I'm just going to have my wheat bix biscuits. Um, and I'll have my fruit and nut with me all day long. I'll carry probably one tuna per day with me, a protein bar, and at the end of the day, um, if I'm really, look, if we're gonna climb up a hill and I'm struggling a bit, I'll have one of those gel shots, those, I'm not sure what they actually are, they're like those glucose things, what the sportsmen and that use, athletes at the end of the uh, day, or start of a race, or I don't know. Uh, I'm far from any athlete, but I'll give anything a go. And then a bit of hydrolyte. Ben recommends that. Uh, at the end of the day, um, just cut my tablets into 200 ml of water. Have a bit of that. and It'll just help your body take in um, or rehydrate a lot better. So that's pretty much the food scenario. Then we move on to uh, sort of some emergency and the essentials. We've got the first aid kit, um, a PLB. Uh, some hand sanitizer, don't need any water with that, that's always good, especially if you've cleaned a deer or at the end of the day before you want to eat, a little bit on the hands doesn't hurt. A bit of paracord, the billy, it's just a little one litre alloy billy, nice and light and I could put stuff in that on the way in as well. Meat bag, um, I've got a couple of uh, generic fire lighters and then in the little 35mm film canister I've got probably a dozen of my own. A little mini Bic lighter, I found them to be the best, with a bit of, uh, well I call it 100 mile an hour tape wrapped around it just for emergencies. I've got a Cedar Summit 2 litre water bladder, or a liquid bladder, that will go in empty, light as, and I can use that if we need to, um, if we find some water I can just fill up. And getting onto that, this is a great idea that Dougie Reed passed on to me. It's a little bit of 20-25mm uh, split uh, electrical conduit, about three or 400 mil long. Even if you've got a trickle of water, you can jam this in and then just use it like a little mini aqueduct to fill your drinking containers. And I've also got the um, baby wipes, which are basically a shower and a packet, and then some uh, normal toilet paper and whatever. Now moving on to the electronics, I'll be taking my Rhino in with the Normal rechargeable battery on it, plus the AA pack battery with uh, enough for another three days. And usually you'll go through about four batteries, four AA's, say your normal energizers or Duracells in a day. And just remember that you do derate your Garmin from five watts to two watts maximum if you're using the AA battery pack. Rangefinder, uh, enough batteries, AA, and triple A for my headlamp, a knife sharpener, my little mini grip Tillian uh, knife, love that knife, many may say it's a bit small for Samba but I find it will do the job, 
My little 8x32 FLT's ice binoculars. 10 rounds of 7mm rem mag ammo, because that's what I'm taking in this time, the Tika. Uh, boar snake, always handy. You may not need to use it, but it's always handy to, to carry one in. Um, light, and do yourself a favour, buy genuine boar snakes. Some of the Chinese imitations might end in, end in tears, but it's stuck halfway down your barrel. Good headlamp. I like the new little um, Tika, I think it's, it's a, uh, the hybrid version, that's really good. Steady sticks for those long shots or longer shots if I need it. The Barco pruning saw, one of the best for cutting bone, it's light, compact and stays sharp for a long time. Clothing, uh, basically I'm just going to go in pretty much with what I'm going to be wearing, now, I'm going to go with my Pants that you've probably seen me wear, my eBay pants, which are uh, classed as waterproof, but I find them tough and they've got a really good balance, a nice light fleece on the inside of them. I'll have a merino, uh, very light merino top in my pack, just in case the colder nights. One Maroka 30 lighter top. Uh, I will also wear my gaiters, the QU gaiters, which are probably about the only gaiters I really like. The others are too stiff, I think. Uh, I'll take the QU uh, Ultra Down Down Sleeping uh, Sleeping Dead Down um, Spit it out Down Jacket, and from there I'll be taking in no tent this time. In that bag over there, I'll be taking my bivy, my Gore-Tex bivy, a Xped Sin Mat, synthetic uh, mat which pumps up to about seven seven centimeters. Uh, Seat to Summit, Seat to Summit Eros pillow, um, and a new minus one rated one planet down sleeping bag. It main reason is my other one is rated to about minus fifteen. Great sleeping bag, but it doesn't compress as small as this. Uh, I can't remember the name or the model off the top of my head, but I can look that up quite easily, and I'll probably put it up on the screen. Then the rest of it is basically just my camera gear, which I've cut right back this time. So hopefully I can still put a half decent production together for you. Uh, so basically what you're looking at in front of you is what I'm taking. The Sony 700, the uh, Sony 3000 action cam, a couple of microphones, spare batteries, SD cards, charge from, uh, battery pack, a little uh, mini tripod. And obviously my, um, I can't think of the name, but the, the uh, clip that holds the big camera onto my chest. So anyway, we'll see how it works. Well, I'm about three or four k's in now. Ben's just contacted me on the radio, so he's hot footing it in behind me. Should be here within the next half an hour. And once he gets here, we'll decide which direction we're going to drop down. Then the work begins. The hey, people man. you see. <laughs> <laughs> You run into. Huh? What are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm going to die, Karen. That'll be. <laughs> How are we looking? Yeah. I don't know why these samba make it look so easy. <laughs> Need my big mouth then. This is the bad part of cameras. We wouldn't have seen them anyway.
Well, Ben, you got me down here. The big question, are you going to be able to get me out? <laughs> that was a fair old hike in. The camera never does it justice, but there's some quite steep bits here. Oh, I just make it harder with the pack. Oh, yeah, I know. Pack, yeah. So Ben, we've reached our destination. Just <laughs> rolled down the hill. <laughs> I was the just. <laughs> ben, Ben did it well. He's worked night shift and then driven down and then hiked in. <laughs> I had a good night's sleep and I'm knackered now. <laughs> I can tell you, we've hydrolighted, so yeah. we should be good. But, um, we're right in the thick of it. Well, we hope we're in the thick of it. So we'll find out over the next few days. You know what I'm going to ask you, don't you, Ben? <laughs> Have you got an answer for me yet? No, don't ask me. <laughs> We're in prime country, but we've yet to see a deer. 